I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with all of you. Tonight happened to be Tuesday, March the 3rd, 2020. 2020, as I keep telling people worldwide, is the year of the vision. Change, y'all. Change. Change for the betterment of all human beings. Uh, the time being about 9.06 p.m. I greet all of you all, no matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religion. Take it, take a look at it. Did you get it? Did you get it? Huh? Did you get it? Every time I come out, it seems like the Charleston, Missouri Police Department or law enforcement of period, they got they right. Trying to see what Raymond I and Lewis Ivy doing. All I'm doing is trying to wake up people that sleep. But anyway, it's, it's the year of the vision change, y'all. You know, first, first I want to read y'all something. And some of y'all think that people is being disrespectful when people is standing up at football games, uh, professional, even at the high school, and they ask people to stand and put their hand on their heart uh, and saying the Pledge of Allegiance uh, to the flag of the United States. Now, I used to just wonder why people do, did it, but, but when you do research, they're not, I don't see them as disrespecting uh, the flag itself. I don't see it disrespecting all white people. You see, when you listen to this, these are at least four to five different versions of the Pledge of Allegiance. Do your research. The first of Pledge of Allegiance came 400 years after a rapist, a murderer, a thief, came from Europe to over to this, what they call the free land, Christopher Columbus, 1892, when he came over here raping the natives. Now, 400 years later, 1892, this was the first of Pledge of Allegiance. Now listen to it carefully because it's gonna say something if you don't catch it with the ear you will know this pledge wasn't for all people. You see, back in 1892, they still had people as slaves. Now listen to the, what, it, what it said, the first version. I pledge allegiance to my flag in the Republican for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to my flag. So you know back then, when they say they flag, it wasn't for everybody, and we know it wasn't for blacks. And this is no disrespect for whites that stand for what their flag supposed to stand for. Everybody don't stand for it, because if they did, after the, after the Civil War, it wouldn't have been no Ku Klux Klans out there, and this pledge was still out. Okay, now, let's go to the second version, 1892, to 1923, I pledge allegiance to my flag. Then they added the word to. And I pledge allegiance to my flag and to the Republican for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was the second version, 1892 to 1923. Let's see the third version. The third version, 1923 to 1924, I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag. My flag is gone now, it's the flag now. But yet they get mad when people don't bow down to it, or I mean when people don't stand up to it. I pledge allegiance to the flag 
of the, of the United States and to the Republican for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now that's 1923 to 1924. Let's go to another version from 1924 to 1954. Now, I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States. Now, of the United States is added now in 1954. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, of, uh, of, of, of the United States, to the Republican, the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Now let's go to this fourth one. I mean, no, no, one na uh No, it's it, to the Republican for which it stands, one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now, this is the fourth version when God came into the act on this. This is from uh, 1954. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America now and to the republic for which it stand, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. This came in 1954. Now, you see how many times it's been changed? First it was, I pledge allegiance to my flag. And you, we know, and, 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 and people that, 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 that said I'm racist, I'm not racist, I'm just trying to educate people. You see, I don't, when I stand up, I don't put my hand on my heart and, and I, I, I stand up out of respect. But I know we are not one nation under God. You see, what God would allow when my grandparents and my parents was young that they have whites only for the water and restroom and blacks only? How could we be one nation under God with that going on? How could during after the Civil War when the Ku Klux Klan came out, how was we one nation under God? In Tulsa, Oklahoma, when that race riot happened, how could it be one, one nation under God? In Chicago, when the race riot happened, how could it be one nation under God? You see, now, let me show you the vision, the 2020 vision, y'all. No matter what your nationality is. If you talking about one nation under God, you would have did the same thing Mitt Rotney did against his Republican Party. He said he put God and his family first, and he wasn't fling to side with what Trump was doing. It took a strong man to do that. Look at Harold Washington in the 1980s, a devout Democrat but he had seen what them Democrat machine was doing then and they doing it now. He left his own party, y'all, because he knew he wasn't one nation under God. Because if we under God, we gonna do the right thing. If I'm a black man and seeing a white person down here dying, I ain't gonna leave them down there dying because they white. You see what I'm saying? If I'm a white person and a black person's laying there down there dying, if I'm, a, I'm if I'm dealing with under God, then I ain't gonna leave that person down there. But Hell Washington left his party, and God gave him the strength to win the mayorship twice. It's going on right now, y'all. Look at all these million that billionaires going up and these crooks going up against Barney Sanders. I don't care if he did have a heart attack before. I don't care if he is 70 something years old, but when you got Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, and all these other people, look what Hillary Clinton daughter, look what she, look at the millions of dollars she was making on that board that she was on. Look at Joe Biden's son making all them billions. Look at Obama, Obama and his wife, they making millions with next flex and everything else. Obama and his wife don't care nothing about all that killing in the black neighborhoods in Chicago. 
But when he was running for senator, he acted like he cared about all that stuff. He cared about it long enough to get him millions of dollars so he can move over there and march his vineyard in Massachusetts, paying $12 million for a house while people out in the streets are starving. That's his money. Give Bernie Sanders a chance going up against this crooked Democratic Party. You see, what worse can he do than these billionaires doing? But then let's take, let's take it right back down here to Charleston, Missouri, y'all. If this was one nation under God, you see what I'm saying? Why is it just one black police on the Charleston, Missouri Police Department? Why is there not no black sheriff deputies on the Mississippi County Sheriff Department? Why is there no black judges down here in, Char in Mississippi County? Why has there never been a black state's attorney down here in Mississippi County? Why is City Hall full of 99.9% .9 whites in City Hall here in Charles, Missouri, when the population here is 5,947 since the census of 2010, and the, and the, pop, the black population is 51%? Tell me why. Because it's not no one nation under God. You see what I'm saying? You wipe out Democrats, you wipe out Republicans. When I say wipe out, I ain't talking about killing them. Just get rid of it. If you're one nation under God, why is men marrying men in this country? Why is women marrying women? How could they do what God said, be fruitful and multiply, when two men up there kissing together, or two women up there kissing together? You can't make no baby if everybody became Two men and women marrying men and women. There you go again. Look, get, let's get it, get it, get it, get it. You see what I'm saying? They wondering what Raymond Lewis Ivy doing. I'm out here just telling the truth. You see what I'm saying? It's not one nation under God. You follow what I'm saying? It's is division. It's been division since Christopher Columbus came over here. It was unity before he came over here. But let me leave you with this here to show you how people waking up. Wisconsin, a few other states, they don't celebrate Christopher Columbus Day no more. They call it uh, indigenous. That's I-N-D-I-G-E-O-U-S uh, People's Day. That means the original people that was here, not people that came from somewhere else and forming colonies after they done murdered and raped the people that was already here. Chicago, Illinois, I give it to y'all. Power to the people. When I say power to the people, all the people on that school board that voted that they are no longer teaching the children in Chicago, Illinois, Christopher Columbus Day, they teaching the same thing, Indigenous People's Day. Because indigenous mean a people that was originally here already, not people that formed colonies. Christopher Columbus came in eight, uh, 1492, raping and killing these people in this country, and then went back over to Spain, and the king and queen of Spain honor these thieves and robbers, just like some of these people today. They honor these people that study, discriminate against blacks. I want y'all to stop going to the Family Dollar here in Charleston, Missouri at 601 Main, South Main Street, store number 9411, especially y'all that know that the racism that's going on there. I don't care if they do have a black district manager. She don't care about what's going on here. She care about what's going on in Tennessee. And they wondering why them tornadoes is down there. But I pray for the people down there. But God giving you a wake up call. Stop doing these people that's human beings acting like they second-class citizens. Y'all ain't no better than us. My dad, when he was drafted in the war, when he was drafted in the war fighting against Hitler, he said that the whites and the blacks were separated. How is that one nation under God? Ain't no one nation under God. Peace be still.